So I managed to finish up spraying wheat today. Uh, I am getting ready to go home, I think. We'll find out, but it's been one of them days. Got my truck ready for next week, though, so it'll be good. Now I'm putting on gas. Uh, I'm out looking around right now. I haven't been down past the house in a little while. But they're putting on gas right now. Both rigs are running. Um, I don't, I guess they're all taken care of it. I don't really know. I haven't had to mess with it much today. I try. I finished up spraying wheat. Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh boy, this road's a little tight for that. But some of our neighbors are down here running. I'll stop by there for a minute here. Cause I was, I don't know, that was running pretty fast right there. Be pretty interesting to watch them for a minute. I, I just like watching them sometimes. Our neighbors, it's kind of fun. So they got a 9RX out there. It looks like the same kind of toolbar that we got. It's a 60 footer. Yeah, it's 60. But I know my windows are dirty. But they're moving pretty fast with it, honestly. It looks like they was going about seven, eight mile an hour, which is surprising to me. I mean, I don't know, maybe they put pumps on them now. I need to look into them again, because I haven't really looked at anhydrous rigs in a while. I mean, I know here recently, here a while ago, I looked at getting a new one, but I no, didn't really look at all the options. Also, me and Trevor did end up getting our, get my spray trailer ready. Come over here and I'll show you guys what we got going on. It's, it's ready besides like pumps. I just got to put pumps on it, which that's not a big deal. But uh, the choice tanks there in front, LI 700 Matador for beans and then rifle there and ground up in the back. So the rifle and the uh, roundup, I like it on that side because I can load from that, whenever I'm loading from that side, if I'm in a big area, I just want to stay unfolded. I can stay unfolded. But if it was over on this side, I'd have to switch around to the other side, but I can fill my induction tanks then that way while I'm uh, mixing my chemicals up. So, makes it a little bit quicker. It needs, yeah, as you can see, there's like that iron stuff running down the side of the tank. It needs fixed. Uh, we've already went through one tank of Roundup, and yeah. I need to pull my sprayer back in at some point, but I'll probably wait till tomorrow. Oh, a little piece of tile. I don't know, I'll pick it up. But yeah. So anyways, hopefully tomorrow I can do a couple acres. See what we can figure out. So I'm in between classes right now. I got my drone out. They're putting on anhydrous. So I'm going down, I'm gonna see if I can't fly my drone around a little bit. Uh, Steven's down here with this big rig. Uh, this new drone, I had to buy a new drone. This drone apparently will go 90 mile an hour. I don't believe that. And technically for legal reasons, it's not supposed to go over like 30 or 40. So yeah. Anyways, it won't be going over 20 today. But I'm still gonna throw it up in the air and see what happens. Cause I'm interested. It should be fun. And this one's even got the like vision sensors on it up to like 40 mile an hour so this will be great it's an fpv drone i don't know if you guys have ever seen it or them or whatever but i'm i think that we will have some fun with it this year i think everybody will especially if i actually use it because now i'm excited to use it uh, i'll be able to get some cool shots that you don't that i haven't been able to get before my my coolant jug moved why that makes no sense. It just flipped over the toolbox into the bed. Anyways, yeah.
case you was wondering, it does hurt to get hit with it. I was trying to land it on the roof of my pickup like what I always used to with my other one. I ain't gonna work with this one. Ow, that hurt. But we're going back here to the back now. So I got a couple good shots on them though, I thought. But maybe, maybe not. We'll see. It's kind of wet back there. I might just turn around. I'm just going to turn around. Oh well. There's your sweet taste for the day though. Well, I suppose it is that time of year. We are uh, working ground now. Or I am at least. Just this one tractor. And then, oh boy. This one is a little rough. But, we're just trying to get a head start on the planter. Because I'd say mid next week we'll start planting. So probably, we'll probably start on the 5th, like what we always do. I picked the worst time to pick up the camera. So, we got the rig all set up right and everything. It's going about, we're only working about four inches deep right now, so we're not working too terribly deep. I'm trying to keep trying to just get a nice level seed bed nice and smooth uh, for the planter to go across and yeah so Zach will probably end up joining back up with this tractor here next week sometime he's running in hydras right now and then once they get done in Indiana here or south southern Indiana they'll move or Stephen will move to Russellville I'd say because it'll be drier up there but yeah Pretty decent sized field here. It's about 180 acres, so they'll keep me busy for the rest of the day. He's got my lunch on. Probably ought to go get my lunch. Good idea. Yep, it's folding. Good enough for me. doing today so today we uh, took Alex's spot we are cultivating right now running at about 7.3 mile an hour uh, a little bit of workload 
So I just took his box. He had to go to class and stuff. So first time I've cultivated all year. I'm not really, never really in a cultivating tractor. Normally by the time I start cultivating and whatnot, I'm normally spraying. So there's that. So oh, oh, we're getting some raindrops. Can't really tell. No, you can't tell. But yeah, got a raindrop from windshield. It kind of looks out the distance. Looks like it's gonna get ready to rain. Supposed to get to rain around seven o'clock tonight, which is only about five o'clock, five sixteen. So hopefully the rain holds out for a little bit. Cause my uh, fiance and baby are coming for a little tractor ride, which they are pulling up now. So I get down this pass and go pick them up. My daughter's getting be about one here in a couple months, so she likes to drive. So I'll let her drive a big tractor. She's gonna try to honk the horn, but doesn't doesn't do anything. It's right here. So that's gonna be a little interesting to see how she reacts with that. So, which gotta go pick them up now.